what is going on guys welcome back to another video so it's time it's here arguably the biggest game in nhl history in about five hours i'm recording this at three probably four hours by the time you're watching this game seven florida panthers versus the Edmonton Oilers. So I wanted to give a little bit of a preview of my prediction. This isn't going to be the longest video I've ever made, considering the fact that we've seen six games of this series. And although it started out one way and has completely shifted the other way, I think we're going to see a very close, a very fantastic game. I don't think it's going to go to overtime like some of these people are saying. Everybody's saying it's going to overtime. Not sure it's going to be something out of a storybook ending, but I think we are in store for a very good game. Now, when looking at this game, I think all the pressure is obviously on the Florida Panthers. The fact that they were up 3 nothing, the fact they're at home to close this out. Not saying the Florida, that uh, Edmonton doesn't have a lot of pressure because them coming up short with this would be devastating. But you have on one side the greatest choke of all time and the Oilers just playing basically with house money after going down 3 nothing versus... Florida, if even if they win it, don't get me wrong, they'd still be partying in the streets, but it would almost be more of like a sigh of relief at that point than like, yeah, we did it. It'd be like, oh my God, we thank God we avoided it. But now we're Stanley Cup champions. So in looking at this game, this game, not saying it's going to be determined in the first 10 minutes, but if I don't see Florida coming out with a shit ton of life, if the crowd isn't absolutely buzzing, if shots aren't eight to three in the first five to 10 minutes, and especially if Edmonton gets the first goal in this game, I'm not saying it's curtains, but that would just be such a backbreaker. After losing three straight on home ice, Edmonton comes in and scores one goal in the first 10 minutes. I think that would be good as gone. Now, the keys to this game clearly is Florida getting back to that physical forecheck that worked in the first three games of this series. We've seen the kind of breakdown. It has not been nearly as uh, effective in the last couple of year games. Chris Knobloch, of course, got clowned for that one quote when he said, I think we... I think we we found a way. I think we can beat this team. And people were like, you're down 3 nothing." If you watch the first three games, Edmonton outplayed them in the first game and arguably the third game as well. I completely understood where he was coming from and they did make adjustments. But Florida needs to go back to basics. They've been playing on their heels definitely the last two games at least to this Edmonton Oilers team at least early on. If they get out to a good start, I'm feeling confident. Now, as for my actual pick... I'm going to be picking the Edmonton Oilers to win this game 4-3. to three. I think when looking at this, I initially picked the Edmonton Oilers in seven games, not in this series, not in this exact way, but at the end of the day, what I kept on stressing, Florida might be the deeper team, but at the end of the day, man, in the National Hockey League, sometimes just having the best players and especially having the best player in the entire world is just such a trump card. And that is what we definitely saw in game four, in game five, game six, actually McDavid went uh, scoreless, but he did attract just so much attention for his other teammates. But when looking at it, I think that Connor McDavid is going to have a massive game. I think Leon Dreisaitl is going to step up. You saw the way that he came out in that first period after his first five games, only having two points. He was buzzing in that first period. These He's going to be on the top of his game. And I think if Edmonton gives their best effort in Stuart Skinner, it goes without saying. If Stuart Skinner shits the bed, which he has not done basically this entire series, Yes, he's allowed some bad goals, but it has not been like to the level of the Vancouver Canucks series, especially Vancouver game one. But when looking at it, as long as Stuart Skinner plays decent, I think Edmonton's going to take care of business. I think they are going to win this game. I would expect a two to three point night from Connor McDavid. He's going to win the con smite regardless. Don't get me wrong, but I think Edmonton just has figured out this Florida Panthers team for the most part. Not saying the Florida's going to get absolutely pantsed in this game. It's going to be a very tight, very physical game, but I think Florida, especially if they go down early, like I think they might, they're going to start taking some dumb penalties. And we've just seen with this Edmonton Oilers penalty kill has just been power play has been just so effective in this series, more so the penalty kill, obviously, but I am picking the Edmonton Oilers. I, I know that that I feel like everybody's picking the Edmonton Oilers. I kind of picked the Florida Panthers in game six, just because Edmonton had all the momentum, but I'm riding with, I'm riding with the Edmonton Oilers on this one. Personally, I'm rooting for the Florida Panthers if I'm going to be 1,000% transparent because I love my boy Kyle Ocposo. I want him to win uh, the Stanley Cup as well as the fact that I went to school down in South Florida, so I do like the Florida Panthers a lot. But I'm going to be picking the Edmonton Oilers. I, 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 I just... I just got a feeling, and honestly, even though I might be rooting for the Florida Panthers, if the Edmonton Oilers win this game, I'm going to be going fucking nuts because at the end of the day, I'm a hockey fan, not a Florida Panthers fan, so I just want just the be what's best for the game, and when looking at what would be best for the game, it is obviously for the Edmonton Oilers, for Connor McDavid to have this historic moment because this would go down as one of the greatest comebacks of all time and also one of the greatest choke jobs of all time, but when looking at it, just for the overall game of hockey, 
the Edmonton Oilers need a win tonight. Like, I, I, I know Gary Bettman might be put in the rig for the Edmonton Oilers because, again, Florida would be cool. Uh, an untraditional market getting a Stanley Cup would be cool, but there's just so much riding on this for the NHL. I cannot wait to see the numbers of this game in terms of the millions of people that have been watching. Well, it's already been setting like near records in Canada. U.S. numbers haven't been exactly as that strong because we have one Canadian team and then you have one South Florida team. So in looking at it, it's just going to be very interesting to see. What exactly happens tonight? It's it's like a five minute video. Jeez, this is my shortest video like of all time. But let me know in the comments what do you think about this game? Who are you gonna end up picking? Again, just based on what I've seen in the last three games, I think it's gonna be closer. But I think at the end of the day, Edmonton's big boys are gonna show up, especially that top pairing of Evan Bouchard and Matias Ekholm that has been so good. As long as they avoid, because we saw in the first three games, as long as they just avoid the the dumb Darnell Nurse and Cody CC stupid communication. One of them's out of place. One of them turns the puck over. Evan Bouchard. Passes the puck right to Evan Rodriguez. The series probably should be over in terms of the Edmonton Oilers winning it in six games with game one and probably game three. They arguably could have won. So I'm going to be picking the Edmonton Oilers, but let me know in the comments, who are you picking? What do you think the end up score? The final score is going to be, I'm going to go four to three in regulation. Connor McDavid with a goal and two assists. Leon Dreisaitl with a goal and an assist. It's going to be fantastic. I might do some type of watch along, probably only for the third period. I got some stuff to do. I got to prep to go to Vegas at 8 a.m. on Thursday. So I don't know if I'm going to be going live for the entire game, but let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on this? And let's just hope for a close game. This would suck if it's like, well, as long as Edmonton wins, it'd be cool. But if this is like a 5-1 Florida Panthers win, all the sales, all the reactions, there's not going to be that fun. I'm going to have a video to, ready to go at whenever, whenever the game ends. I'm going to have a video ready to go, ranking the last 10 Stanley Cup champions, including whichever one wins tonight. I got two versions ready to go. But yeah, let me know in the comments. I've been dragging this video out. Let me know in the comments what do you think. I'll be seeing you in the next one.